News 8's Carlos Amezco was among the first reporters on the scene. He's been providing live reports for the past five and one half hours. We go to him now for his report on what happened. Carlos? Marty, as we arrived shortly after the incident began, the scene was one of absolute confusion. Shots were ringing out. The nightmare was unfolding. Make sure you approach from the south, and the CP is at 300 west. The shooting suspect is inside the McDonald's. He is contained, moving around in there, still stop being fired. He entered the facility, heavily armed, immediately started shooting everybody. And uh, uh, the customers uh, that were inside the uh, restaurant uh, had absolutely no chance to escape. Oh, These images are more of war than of a small fast food restaurant in San Ysidro. Yet it was a local man dressed in battle fatigues who declared, I have killed a thousand, I'm going to kill a thousand more. 41-year-old James Huberty reportedly walked into the restaurant carrying a semi-automatic rifle and two other weapons, enough ammunition to last two hours. Witnesses inside said he fired wildly into the unsuspecting crowd gathered for a quick evening meal. He fired through windows, hitting people in the street. He fired at men, women, children, and babies. One officer said it looked like a mass execution. Police hearing the calls coming across the radio were confused, not sure how to approach such a dangerous situation. It was all happening so fast. The SWAT team was called in to try and surround the building. Meanwhile, people who escaped, their bodies soaked with blood, were being taken care of by frantic emergency medical crews. The death toll started at 6, then 10, 20, and climbing. By 4.15, a virtual army of police and rescue personnel had crowded the main street through this border town. Suddenly, a shot was fired. Police radio screamed, he's down, he's down, the suspect's down. James Huberty had fallen to a SWAT sharpshooter's bullet. One single bullet killed the man who had apparently systematically fired, loaded, and reloaded his weapon to kill all those people. It all happened in about an hour. No one can explain why. Why anyone would take so many innocent lives. James Huberty didn't kill his thousand. He killed enough to shake a whole country and make this small town wonder if its streets will ever be the same.